the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Your love is kind. Your love is patient. You feel my heart with so much peace and joy. You're amazing. Your love. Hallelujah. Turn it into a prayer and thank the Lord for his love over your life and over your destiny. Go ahead. One minute of heartfelt expression of gratitude over his love. Are you praying? Se prante capalla cosa da predicare di belle cose. Thank him from the depth of your heart. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for life. Thank you for preservation. We give you all the praise. For in Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Let me start tonight by officially saying a happy new year to everyone <laughs> hallelujah that means everything that wants to fight this year from being happy for you up front we curse it in the name of jesus <laughs> the bible says and whatsoever adam called it that was the name thereof we choose to say it must be a happy new year in the name of jesus christ and then second to um tender my profound apologies for the power outage and to appreciate all who worked to restore the light i can assure you that we'll work with the facility managers to make sure that this kind of event does not occur again so please um accept my kind apologies we'll work within the time we have and see that god will do us good tonight in jesus name i'd like you to prophesy to yourself and everybody around you including every spirit that this is my year of marvelous light one more time declare said this is my year i decreed by the spirit it's my year of marvelous light in every ramification every area of life 
i receive it as a prophetic word from god and i decree and declare that there must be a performance in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ god bless you please be seated um it's it's a it's a culture as a ministry to dedicate the first service of every year to expand on the prophetic word and that's what i'll be doing very briefly but just spare me a few minutes to perform a few functions by god's grace i have here with me some of the stickers that we have made hallelujah praise the name of the lord so this it's a beautiful one experience koinonia and um, there's another one jesus revealed jesus glorified then there's another one again that just a publicity material now whilst you're seated i think we can do it now um one or more of these will be given to you whichever is given to you just take it is free completely free is it's not uh, hallelujah praise god amen amen so we save time thank you thank you very much now please listen 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 amen so that so that um ushers please walk you don't have to make noise there's no quarreling it will reach you if it doesn't reach you just behave yourself in the, this is the house of god praise god remember it's a year of marvelous light and we have to behave like it is god who is at work in us praise god hallelujah and then um there are very limited copies unfortunately this is our koinonia jota it's beautifully designed hallelujah so this very very excellently done and then it has a few powerful quotations here let me read three maybe god will use it to speak to someone number one the first one here says no matter how gifted you are you will never go far if you like character <laughs> hallelujah second the price for all of god is all of you and then the third here is um wisdom is the supernatural ability to use the written and inspired word of god to make accurate decisions and provide solutions to life's problem you can imagine giving this to your child or writing with this this is how exercise books should be instead of some of these things they write that are not inspiring a, a, a jotter don't feel bad if that is your business i'm only inspiring you praise the name of the lord so i'm not sure how many of these will go wrong will go around but um maybe we'll just give a few to those who are around i'm sure that more copies will be made i just want to officially dedicate them everything in this house including wires are dedicated we believe listen our, our philosophy of ministry is that anything without the blessing of god will eventually not bless you it's not some religious fanatism it is for you to understand so i just want to pray and release this now there's no point idolizing it this is just a a an expression of love number one to you number two it is so that you can maybe put it in your cars office walls wherever doors um you can idolize this and then it will not bless you but then at the same time i can tell you the truth that you can believe in the impartation on it and it will work wonders that is the balance so don't you think these are just empty stickers like you pick a a a, a sticker on the ground we'll pray but i'm just giving a precaution because sometimes members go overboard and they begin to worship and idolize things like this the bible says we should not make any graven image hallelujah but at the same time handkerchiefs and aprons also came out of the bodies of the apostle so father we thank you for the privilege and the wisdom to do this it's an honor to be able to 
extend this token of love to your people and father i pray in the name of jesus that this will be unto your glory unto your name and unto your praise that no flesh will glory in this we desire that jesus be revealed and jesus be glorified and father i pray for our family within this nation and world over whoever will lay hands on this sticker lord let it truly become for them a a conduit of your power a conduit of your favor a conduit of your grace in the name of jesus therefore we dedicate this with faith in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen and amen thank you thank you so much praise the lord are you ready for the word speak to me oh god by the power of your spirit someone praying speak to me by the power of your spirit in the name of jesus now very quickly let me add a disclaimer please those online do not let anyone try to sell this for you online let me just say that quickly our family world over there is none of this that is for sale if there is anything for sale we'll tell you and tell you where and how to do it so please if you find anybody trying to sell anything to you online know that you are dealing with a scammer do not do that praise the lord this is a love gift this is a seed and um, we're doing it out of love please let and those who those who are used to doing this who follow ministries but not to be blessed there is no need scamming people listen to what i'm teaching you you will not need to scam people you see that the same energy it takes to be a thief is the same energy it takes to be attentive and to rise by knowledge <laughs> hallelujah this, this this these are some of the resolutions that i expect people to make in a new year like this you should sit down and look back and say in this new year i can't do this kind of thing again praise the name of the lord indeed it is our year of marvelous light now i we had a wonderful time in zaria just um kick-starting the year and the first thing i want to I want to communicate tonight very quickly before we just look at a few things and pray is the idea of prophetic words you would realize that when it has to do with yearly prophetic words we have different views across the body of christ there are people who generally believe that prophetic words are not needed in fact others may stretch it to believe that is absolute nonsense and based on how they explain it they might be very right and correct from their perspective um, but then i wrote something down here i read it um, on friday and i want to read it here i want you to listen very carefully i wrote here that yearly prophetic words can become a mere ritual that has no life and no power in it that it is true a possibility exists that prophetic words year in year out can become a mere ritual just a church or a denominational ritual that does not have any life or power in it i further wrote here that knowing the lord growing in grace and accessing all the tools allocated for an effective christian life has nothing to do with a new year or a prophetic word that means growing in grace knowing the lord growing in grace and accessing all the tools are located for an effective christian life has nothing to do with a new year or a prophetic word that means as far as knowing the lord is concerned growing in grace and accessing the mysteries the keys of the kingdom that makes for an excelling life whether it is january whether it is november whether it is december the moment light comes it has the ability to lift you up so it, it doesn't necessarily have to do with a new year or the end of the year you get what i'm trying to say now 
we grow and are established in this kingdom every time we access the knowledge of the truth but i did say then and i'll repeat it here that however in spite of the aforementioned god is and remains a god of times and seasons i'm giving you a scriptural basis for the prophetic word that god is a god of times and seasons in as much as he does not dwell in time but he carved out time and separated it into three dimensions past present future to be able to help man relate with him so everything god does with respect to man he does it in time are we together now including his mercy he tied his mercy to time so god is a god of times and seasons his walkings on earth and in the life of the believer i wrote here also subscribes to the law of times and seasons this is true when jesus christ walked upon the earth as god incarnate he did not violate the law of time and season from his coming as a baby in the womb of mary he stayed patiently to subscribe to the law of time and season jesus was not born an adult he was born a baby is that true and the bible records according to luke chapter 2 and verse 52 that jesus increased that means he grew with time the bible is not ashamed to show us baby jesus teenager jesus at age 12 learning is that true adult jesus at age 30 these are all functions of time and jesus himself said i must walk the walks of him that sent me while it is day he added timing even to his assignment when jesus went to the cross and died it was a function of time after three days he came back to life so it is not unscriptural when god guides people within the frame of times and seasons yearly prophetic words reveal god's emphasis to us per season and per time listen very carefully yearly prophetic words are platforms for god to reveal his emphasis god is not doing the same thing all the time he has emphasis per season and per moment and yearly prophetic words afford us the opportunity to hear from god and to know what god is doing per season it also helps us to know the roles that we have to play as far as partnership with god is concerned it helps us to know the role that we have to play as far as our partnership with god is concerned and then it also tells us the blessings that come as a result of discernment and alignment this is very powerful so when we open up our hearts to yearly prophetic words as believers and more so as a global family of faith we accept this to mean that god is doing something within this season with us are we together now and we seek to find out his emphasis within this moment to find out the role that we have to play the participatory role that we have to play alongside the blessing that has been allotted for the season it's very very important i have said it here but for the sake of emphasis let me just bring it again that there are three listen carefully there are three dimensions of the anointing number one the first dimension of the anointing as revealed from scripture is the anointing that is within the believer by reason of being grafted into christ by reason of being grafted into christ there is an anointing from the holy one that we have received by reason of our oneness number two there is the anointing that is upon the believer by reason of your call and assignment when god calls you and he assigns a place for you in life and destiny there is an engracing that follows you whether you are in ministry business whatever it is the moment you find your place in life there is an allocation of grace 
but number three the third dimension of the anointing is the grace that comes upon you by reason of discerning what god is doing within a season so it is possible to have the anointing that comes as a believer it is possible to have the anointing that comes upon your office as far as your contribution to kingdom advance is concerned and yet not have the anointing that makes for relevance per season so it is possible to find out that certain people are greatly featured in god's program per season and when god moves in another dimension this is not backsliding they are still there but not his current emphasis there is always a grace that follows those who can through discernment and alignment understand what god is doing per season prophetic words help us to know what god is doing so that we can release our faith if you're with me say amen, amen. hallelujah so this is very important god has declared to us by his spirit that this is our year of marvelous light first peter chapter 2 please and verse 9 i'll be very fast because um so we can walk with time it says but you are a chosen race can we have kjv you are a chosen generation it says a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people he's describing a kind of people now that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light the bible tells us what you have been called out of and it tells you what you have been called into it says you have been called out of darkness into his marvelous light that means it is the marvelous light that actually makes you a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar kind of people that the prophets before now desire to walk in certain levels of truth but were not granted and that god reserved this body of truth that he calls marvelous light marvelous light means so many things i'm going to explain a few of them now but that we are that generation that have been granted by the spirit and by the mercy of god access to this body of spiritual truth that the bible calls not just light marvelous light light in scripture has always carried an expression of grace and power and an expression of god himself there are a few times that the bible connects light to satan and that is to reveal him as a deceiver for instance the bible says satan appears as an angel of light he never says he's an angel of light and then the bible lets us know that historically he was the light bearer the son of the morning he was the custodian of the mysteries of the kingdom this was his assignment before pride and treason brought him and he was judged to become what he is today satan and all of that the bible tells us there's no point going into it and the bible is not also afraid to let us know that when god made him satan the light bearer it was him who was allocated to eden the garden of god hallelujah and many things happened and he was driven out and all of that then man came and the remaining is history but it's important for us to know that light in scripture has always carried um, a positive connotation light is usually not used for anything negative we're going to look at a few of them so that we really understand the implication of being custodians of marvelous light are you ready now number one light according to scripture represents insight and illumination insight and illumination light according to scripture represents insight and illumination in through the truth of god's word 
every time light is used in scripture it is used to express insight it is used to express illumination Ephesians chapter 1 when you begin to read from verse 15 to 23 you can write it for reference but then I'll just look at um, let's look at 17 for for sake of time Paul is praying now that the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him 18 it says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened so that you may know when the Bible talks about light and even marvelous light, it means supernatural and unusual access to illumination and insight. Please say amen. amen. Knowledge is very important in this kingdom. This is a kingdom where dominion happens at the instance of light and knowledge. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 the Bible speaking says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee Psalms 82 and verse 5 they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says I have said ye are gods pay attention now and all of you are children of the most high it says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes why because they know not neither will they understand knowing what God has done for you in Christ is not enough you must know what it takes to make that become a reality in your life knowing what God has done for you in Christ is not enough you must know what it takes to make that revelation true in your life there are so many frustrated Christians who continue to jump and say God has done this the Bible says this and and they are right but they are not complete because the goal is not just awareness it must become manifest in your life the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory So when God says it is a year of marvelous light, it means by his spirit he's going to be granting us access to high level insight and spiritual illumination. That means he will open up to us by his spirit the deep things as far as the knowledge of the ways of God is concerned. And when you find knowledge, then you are already on course for a victorious life hallelujah praise the name of the Lord number two very quickly marvelous light means also that God is going to be granting us understanding there is a difference between knowledge and understanding knowledge just means the awareness the information that brings to you the awareness of a possibility it does not necessarily mean that it must become your experience the awareness of a factor a possibility whatever it is is called knowledge that means if i'm aware that i need a mic to amplify my voice that is knowledge it does not mean i will have it and it does not mean i can use it are we together now understanding is the next level understanding is such a powerful miracle you know when you read the bible theologians omit um miracles like the miracle of understanding they don't add it to the miracles of jesus most times when you read the bible and see the miracles of jesus you will see the opening of the blind eye multiplying of bread but you don't see them add understanding but let me tell you understanding is a powerful miracle then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture very very powerful remember the story of the utopian enoch after he returned he was reading the messianic prophecy about the death of jesus and like a sheep to the slaughter he would be sent and he did not understand it at all when philip joined him he said understandest what thou readest and he said how can i except some man teach me 
and he began to expand to him the ways of the kingdom very very important in acts chapter 18 acts chapter 18 um when you read verse um what verse now let me search it here very quickly i'm looking for the story of cornelius acts chapter 18 from verse 24 apollos i meant to say the bible says a certain jew named apollos from born at alexandria follow carefully he says he's an eloquent man mighty in scripture he came to ephesus next verse he says this man was instructed in the way of the lord being fervent in spirit what a description he spake and taught diligently the things of the lord but the bible says knowing only the baptism of john so all his fervency his knowledge was limited to the area he understood the bible says verse 26 now that he began to speak boldly in the synagogue whom when aquila and priscilla had heard they took him unto them and expounded unto him the way of god more perfectly more perfectly more perfectly his problem was not ignorance his problem was insufficient light and understanding are we together now understanding is very powerful it's a miracle job in chapter 32 and verse 8 elihu was speaking and he said but there is a spirit in man and the breath the inspiration of the almighty giveth men so understanding is a gift are you seeing it there now god gives understanding to men men cannot give men understanding it is god that gives a man understanding may that miracle happen to you in jesus name this is a gadget that was designed to amplify my voice there are thousands of people that are able to hear me simply because i'm holding this device it takes more than knowledge to use it it takes understanding i can give you this mic sustaining the power to amplify your voice and ease your communication but if you do not know how to activate it you can hold a mic that is so powerful and yet have the same result as someone who never does not even know that there is a mic you see lack of understanding puts you even though knowledgeable at the same level at a, uh, with an ignorant person it is very frustrating because the one who does not know and the one who is just aware will painfully have the same result are, are you getting what i'm saying now it is painful to know what should be and not know how to make it manifest this is the role of understanding what is understanding the fortitude for comprehension the ability to know how to apply knowledge in a way that it profits you understanding answers the question how knowledge answers the question what what do i do you are seeking for knowledge how do i do it you are seeking for understanding most people know what to do but they do not know how to do it i think i've given the example here i like to give example with food because for some reason experience has shown that when you give example with food people understand i don't know why but <laughs> are we together get someone who is a trained chef and get someone who just freelance his way into understanding how to cook give them the same ingredients under the same condition they will produce two different results don't add any extra ingredient the difference is not the ingredients the difference is the combination what makes that man chef is the ability to combine appropriately are we together now yes it is the same bible that the rich and the poor hold it is the same bible that the mediocre and the great hold in fact 
it may be the same church it may be the same pastor the difference is understanding hundred people can shout amen and only two will have amen manifest in their lives it is not because the word that came from the man of god is a lie amen came upon a head that is knowledgeable but there is no understanding understanding is a real miracle mastery happens at the realm of understanding the bible says listen carefully it says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully it is my prayer that this year god will take us away from guessing just guessing what you think is the way and you can stand with confidence to say by the privilege of god's mercy i understand how this happens are we together there are some of you who are women and mothers here some of you cook for weddings and programs if 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 i if i say cook for all of the people within this large auditorium and all the overflows there are women who will still not be afraid all they need is time and they will cook for thousands of people as though they cooked for only one person they have mastered the art of standardizing their results it doesn't matter whether it's 10 people or 500 people or 1000 people they know what to do may you know what to do and may you understand how to do it in the name of jesus christ look up please do you know still using the example of cooking do you know there are people who can cook for three four five people once there are three four five that's all right but the moment they become a crowd the dynamics of producing the results change there are people who can drive an ordinary small car they would drive it with mastery but give them a truck the dynamics it is still driving ah. when god gives you 100 members there is a way to pastor 100 members when god gives you 1000 there is a way to do 1000 it is still pastoring but the dynamics many of you are unable to enter the next level of your prophetic destiny because you have not gained mastery on the ways of god to know what to do and to understand how to do it are we together you must cry for understanding so marvelous light means access to information knowledge marvelous light also means understanding how do you know you have gained understanding when it no longer becomes luck how do you know you have gained understanding when you can reproduce the results indefinitely are we together you lay hands on someone who has some problem in his life and the person returns back with a testimony then you lay hands on another and it looks like the person does not return with a test here and there you are getting miracles but you really don't know what the problem is understanding understanding number three very quickly marvelous light also means access to supernatural direction say amen. amen direction is very very powerful direction is very powerful psalms 119 verse 105 psalms 119 verse 105 thy word is a lamp unto my feet and it is a light unto my path you've heard this example and i've given it myself that i, I was and, and and i was talking about this on friday also no matter how excellent and how expensive a car is the moment it is night and it is pitch darkness the most important factor as far as visibility is concerned is not the color of the car it's not the brand and the make of the car it is the level the headlamp is that true and the light that comes from it you can have a rolls royce you can have whatever you know top brands of cars and if for any reason it does not have light or you don't know how to put it on you will sit and be frustrated in a car that even if it is a million dollars you will be frustrated there and there are some of this with all due respect there are some of these are precious people who do town service 
and community service they you can see them in a gulf but they can add there's something they do to it to increase the light that's not how it came but they they can add to the light and in the night you will see a car that does not look like anything to write home about but it will have the kind of light of a trailer is that true so men may laugh at you let night come you may look small but the factor that determines advancement anybody can laugh when it is day but when the night comes when the night comes it is those who have high level spiritual illumination when your headlamp it's a life and active there are many of you you are you are too concerned about the beauty of the car you've not you are seeing the sun go down and yet you are not verifying whether your light is working direction psalm 43 and verse 3 let's hurry up psalm 43 and verse 3 oh send out thy light and thy truth he says let them lead me let them bring me into thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles send out your light and let them lead me can i tell you even darkness from afar looks like light you will need a high level of light to be able to discern between light and light and darkness in the days that we live in dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Get a brand of Catapa Cotosco to break a take a legata. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.